Hey guys, on today's episode, we're gonna be working on this beautiful Porsche GT4, as well as talking about the high-tech detailing tools that are gonna make us more effective, efficient, and hopefully more profitable. That and a whole lot more on this episode of Drive and Protect. Real quick before the video starts, I wanted to give a huge, sincere thank you to Simply Safe. They're actually keeping me in business right now, and the fact that I can shoot this video is kind of a big deal, and I'll explain why. Obviously, during COVID, and the fact that we have social distancing and we can't go to my mobile detailing customers' houses, nor can I go to Speed Sport Tuning, we're sort of dead in the water as a detailer at the moment. What I tried to do with Speed Sport is cut a deal where I could say, hey, drop the car off here, I will detail it as I normally would when I was, when I was there, and you guys come pick it up and we'll keep our distance and I'll work from home. They said, cool, but as I was saying that, I'm saying, oh my gosh, I really need to secure my garage because I have an old system here and it's not very good, but I really don't have anything in the garage. No, normally I bring in the Jeeps and the cars for kids. They're 500 bucks, they don't even move. It's not a huge uh, issue for me and they're usually gone in a couple of days. These have to stay here because I have a lot of work to do uh, on this particular car. I reached out to Simply Safe. I went online, I picked the things that I wanted or whatever, and then I had some questions. I called the dude there, they actually picked up, which is insane. Um, and I explained the situation and they said, hey, in light of the whole craziness that's going on right now, we're gonna hook you up with a system if you mention it in the video. And I said, absolutely, I think everybody, this is a sincere thing, I was buying it anyway, so uh, thank you guys. It's been uh, obviously a challenge out there with, uh, with everything, so um, let's take a look at uh, some of the cool things specifically. I love the freeze. Uh, there's a freeze sensor, there's a water sensor, there's a glass break motion. Uh, there's a lot of cool things uh, specific to, uh, I think, detailing, whether they knew it or not. I mean, a, a freeze, I've had uh, my propane tank uh, went empty uh, one year and my heating went out and I blew all of my uh, my pipes back there and water leaked everywhere. So if I had this freeze, uh, I would have known a little bit before and I wouldn't have had like a ice skating rink in my garage. Anyways, let's go over a few things here. I'll show you what I'm doing in the garage and then we'll get into some of the unbelievable uh, tools for 2020, especially during this time of COVID-19. So here's how it works. The entire system is really small and customizable, so it can go pretty much anywhere, and you can do it yourself because it has these little sticky pads on the back. They also make a smart lock system that can open and close via your phone, so you can let in anyone remotely, especially when using the doorbell or the wall-mounted camera system, and it also tracks when the door is opened and closed, which is really helpful because I get a lot of supply deliveries and I don't want them left in the rain. The bottom line is, I can now feel more comfortable leaving expensive cars in my garage knowing they're safe, and I didn't have to sign up for a long-term contract. It's professionally monitored 24-7, it has motion sensors, glass breaking sensors, and it's modern, meaning it looks pretty nice. It's like a little piece of art on my workbench, and I'm not trying to hide it. Plus, you can monitor for freeze and water leakage, especially helpful if you have power washers in your detailing garage. For more information, check out the link in the description. Okay, every year or so, I like to go over the latest high-tech tools in the detailing industry. Last year, we talked about the paint pen, and then I think we did the needle, and of course, the gloss meter, and so on. And those are kind of fun to help us sort of elevate the industry altogether. Now, this year, we have the same kind of thing, but these are super high-tech, especially in the new global environment with COVID-19. The first one here is an app. It's called Mobile Tech RX. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it, basically, you walk around with the customer, and you can build the invoice right there, have them sign off on it. There's a couple of things. You can take pictures of the car as it comes in and map everything out. You can scan the VIN. It's a customer relations management thing that I think is really gonna elevate the industry and sort of answer that question that I get all the time of, hey, how do I set my pricing? Hey, how do I raise my pricing? How do I not get that feeling of, um, I hate this word, but like grease monkey type of feeling where we're just regular detailers and we're you know, commodity driven. How do we elevate that and be more of professional cleaners so that we get the price that I think that we're owed and that's that is a massive question and I think this is a step in the right direction so we're going to talk about that a little bit this one here is the Udo's five in one really trick machine I saw that at SEMA and I've used it a bunch we're going to polish the car here so it has five different settings in one machine which there's nothing on the market like this uh, really cool then I know you guys are eyeballing this this one's kind of fun this is an electrostatic machine what we call the electrostatic gun you pull the trigger listen and it shoots out a fine mist. There's lather in here right now. So your cleaning solution, what it does is when you normally take a spray gun, it obviously shoots out kind of in this direction. When you use these guns, uh, they're, it's electrically charged that comes out. So it, it's, it manages to be able to stick to certain things. Let's say underneath a seat, for example, I can't exactly get underneath there, behind the pedal, et cetera, et cetera. This is in super high demand, especially now. Uh, people are using a lot of disinfectants with this, so we're gonna use that on the car. Lastly, over here, 
uh, kind of one of my favorites. This is Hygiena. Now this tool itself looks like a huge um, iPhone and you can see it's got it's a touchpad and basically what happens is you have these swabs you swab let's say a steering wheel or a door handle or whatever and you put it in here you click the button basically in 10 seconds it tells you an RLU reading which tells you how much bacteria let's say or germs are on the surface then after you go through your cleaning process you go back in you swipe it you put it back in and then you can see how effective your cleaning is now this doesn't measure for viruses or COVID or any of that stuff but it does measure how how good how, the effectiveness of the cleaning technique from before and after, which I think is massive when you're showing a customer, uh, you know, along with your, with your app, you go in there and say, hey, here's all the steps. You signed off on it. We did this, this, and this. This is how much I'm charging. Oh, by the way, here's another uh, printout that shows the dirt or the germs or the bacteria, let's just say, in the car beforehand and the level of bacteria afterwards. You can see a dramatic drop. I think customers are going to go, whoa, this is, we're getting to the next level of detailing, which I think is massively important, not just because of the global environment, but we do need to bring the industry up uh, as a whole. And I think a lot of these tools can be super helpful. So let's uh, use them. Uh, I got to bring this car outside, start washing it, but then come back in here and we'll go through the process and I can show you how it actually works on a real car. Now to show you how this all works in the real world, you have to have a real person here, which I obviously can't. So I'm using Mr. Scan Grip Light with the ammo hat as my customer. So hypothetically speaking, when Mr. Grip uh, drives into the shop, I grab my point of sale tool, which in this case is an iPad, and I have a little bit of chatting, hey, how are you doing, that kind of thing. So after chatting for a little bit, I walk around the car and take a quick photo of the vehicle's VIN so I can start a new file for this customer or add the car to an existing customer file. After that, I take pictures of the vehicle's paint and the interior before I ever touch it. This is not only done to protect yourself as a businessman from that, quote, that scratch was never there when I came in type of scenario, but it immediately conveys a level of professionalism that will help strengthen your pricing models. Likewise, you can email the before and after pictures to the client when you're done, which is hard to argue with. After pulling the GT4 inside, I found a dent on the driver's side rear quarter. Now, to show a dent to an untrained eye, such as a customer, the app has a built-in reflector board with grid lines, which allows you to upsell the service on the spot and then add it to the work order. Once the work order is approved, the customer can sign off or you can email them the estimate for approval, and then the work will begin after that. It's a pretty trick way to dot all your I's and cross all your T's before you begin the work. Now, later on, when the detail is actually done, I'll show you how to invoice, get paid, and send customer text alerts to the customer reminding them to schedule their next service visit. Ultimately, what I think is most useful about this app, and it's not just the invoicing or the alerts or all the pictures and that sort of thing, it, this forces you to have a conversation or communicate with the customer to avoid gray areas. In other words, everyone is on the same page and maybe the customer doesn't want to pay for the service after the walkthrough and the estimate, which is great. At least you found out now instead of doing all the work and having an argument later. I think this sort of forces you to just stay disciplined and to avoid the common issues or the landmines when working in a service-based business. With the paint washed, dried, and knowing exactly what needs to be corrected, I'm playing with the newest polisher on the market, Lake Country's 5-in-1 machine called the Udos. Now, I saw this thing at SEMA last year and was definitely intrigued. I read somewhere that it was being called the multi-use tool, but as I think about it and played with it a little bit, I think of it as the multi-motion machine. And that's what's exciting to me, and I'll explain. You can change the orbit sizes on the fly, which makes it challenging to compare it with popular single motion or orbit tools. But after playing with it for a few days, I can see that this is where the industry is gonna be heading in the future. Likewise, keep in mind, this is made by Lake Country, who is famously known for making pads for pretty much everyone in the detailing industry. So it's pretty logical that they'd be working on a machine as well. The tool comes standard with a medium sized handle grip, but you have the option to upgrade to a small or a super large handle based on your personal preference. Likewise, as a pad company, they have specific Udos, microfiber, and foam pads that you can order in kits separately. It comes with a 10-foot cord, which is easy enough to work with, but I do hope one day that all of our cords are quick connect or removed altogether for batteries. The backing plate is pretty cool. It has an air scoop area that looks exactly like an airplane NACA duct that allow airflow into the backing plate to avoid overheating, which is not uncommon on large throw machines. Only later on did I realize that this makes sense because the guy who invented the Udos is also an airplane engineer. Plus, the F40, Countach, and GT2 have them, so I was already thinking they look pretty cool besides the fact that it's actually functional. As you can see, most of the paint has love marks or washing swirls and the occasional isolated scratch. 
so I compounded the paint with Udo's in P3 or 21mm orbit to quickly correct the imperfections. As we all know by now, larger strokes tend to have faster cutting, but depending on the pad design, sometimes the larger stroke can jam into the curvature of the panels, causing user discomfort and uneven finishes. Okay, so uh, I'm stopping here. This is actually a perfect example or prime example of uh, when I would change uh, orbits on the fly. So there's a little scratch right here. I'm trying to figure out how to get to it, but there's a little bit of a concave situation going on when you have a large throw machine, a 21 millimeter, let's say, that has what we call karate chop, 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 chop. And when you get into these tight little areas, sometimes it can be nice to switch to a smaller pad or a smaller orbit. In this case, that's all I have to do is you have to line up this little line here as I'm learning more and more. See that little line right there? You line up that line with this line right here. And right now, P3, I'm in 21. So, I don't know, let me try. You pull down, pull up. Now I'm in a smaller uh, orbit. Now I can go in here and hope, now I can go in here and hopefully there's less uh, karate chop action, a little more smoother or more uh, er ergonomic feel. I don't want my arms to fall off by, uh, you know, have it, having it vibrate, nor do I want to uh, bang into the side of the car, obviously. Ultimately, I think of this tool as really about user experience. You can just dial down the orbits until you feel comfortable. It's user defined, which makes sense. It puts you in charge. It's sort of like driving a manual and shifting the gears in your car. If you want total control, then this one will give you that option. Here's the bottom line though. Most high caliber detailing tools are gonna range between $329 to about $465. This tool is $699, so you immediately have to think what you're going to get extra for that extra $260 or so. In this case, you're basically going to get four extra tools for $260, so that's something to keep in mind for sure. Okay, at this point in the process, I've compounded and polished the paint and put one layer of reflex on. Now, if you're new to reflex, I'll have a uh, unlisted or private video on my website that talks about how and why it's different than the older version. I'll put a link right up here. Now, with respect to the inside of the car, the customer called me and said, hey, in light of all the things that are going on in the world, I, want to, I really want to make sure that the inside is super clean. Can you remove all the bacteria? I said, not a problem. In the past, as a professional detailer, you couldn't really prove that your cleaning method removed bacteria until now. This is a tool called Hygiena, and what it does is it measures the effectiveness of your cleaning. So first, we're going to swab the inside of the car and show how much bacteria is there. Then we're going to clean the car, and then at the end, we're going to swab with a, with a new swab and show how much less bacteria there is. Now, that is game changer for a detailer because we can actually prove to the customer that we did something to the car, meaning we cleaned it, we made it better, we made it safer. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use that right now. Just to be crystal clear here, this instrument only gives general measurements of biological contamination or to verify or to give feedback technically on the cleanliness method and its overall effectiveness. This does not monitor directly for viruses, but the measurements this tool provides could be useful in evaluating the effectiveness of hygiene interventions aimed at preventing viral spread. What's really nice is you can create pass-fail limits and demonstrate your work via greater than or less than RLU measurements of ATP present on the surface you're cleaning. I suggest measuring the six hotspots we discussed in the recent vehicle disinfecting episode. So here's how the unit works. The Hygiena Kit comes with quick snap swabs to collect the samples. It's best to keep them in the refrigerator for longevity. They come in sealed bags with 100 swabs in a box. First, remove the cover from the swab without touching anything other than the surface that you want to test, and wipe the area while rotating the Q-tip to gather as much bacteria as possible from the given surface. Once the test area is done, such as the shifter or the steering wheel, then replace the cap. On top of the quick snap, you'll notice a bulb with a blue stick and liquid inside. This stick needs to be broken to release the testing liquid down into the swab. To do this, bend the bulb and the blue stick back and forth until you hear a snap. Gently squeeze the bulb and the liquid will then travel down the stick and into the swab area. From there, open the Ensure Touch lid and then place the swab inside with the bulb facing up and then hit the Quick Test button. The unit must be sitting vertically for it to work. Within 10 seconds, the RLU number will display on the screen, giving you a baseline of bacteria from which to work from. 
In this case, the shifter had 927 RLUs and failed based on my preset limits. I repeated a separate test on the steering wheel as well, and it received similar failing results. With my baselines now set, I'm first cleaning all the plastic and leather with ammo lather, an interior brush, and a microfiber towel. For carpets, cloth, and alcantara, you can use the same technique and a scrub pad, but with ammo shag fabric cleaner instead of lather. Likewise, for even coverage in tight areas, I used an electrostatic sprayer which coats conductive areas with double charged particles so even tight spots are evenly covered, such as under seat frames, gas and brake pedal assemblies, seat belts, and so on. The reservoir tank can be filled with either lather or shag depending on your application needs. I especially love it on Alcaterra steering wheels for even coverage to avoid over soaking the material. Once all was cleaned, I took another reading to see if my cleaning methods were effective or if I needed to modify my approach. In this case, the cleaning was effective as the RLUs have decreased substantially and have passed my preset limits. When I'm done, I can print out charts and send them to the customer should they want more data on what was achieved within the detail. Now with the interior done, I applied a second coat of reflex, final vacuumed all the carpets, applied reboot to the wheels, mud to the tires and the trunk plastics without leaving behind any greasy residue before finishing up on the glass with my squeegee method. With the car now ready for pickup, I invoice the customer before arrival and the app gives you the option to pay by check, cash, credit card, and so on. Then you can close out the open order and use my favorite aspect of the CRM feature, which is the alert function. Now this allows you to immediately set up a text or an email with a special note and it can go out in one day, two days, 10 days, 100 days, it doesn't matter. And you can ask for referrals, you can remind the customer to come back and see you, or you can simply send a friendly text message related to whatever it is that you were talking about at the time of the visit. Meaning if the customer said, hey, it's my son's birthday and we're going on vacation, then you can text them in let's say a week and say, hey, I hope your son's birthday went well and your vacation is going great. You know, give me a call when you get back and when you get your car cleaned up. It lets the customer know that you're listening, that you're paying attention, that you care. And it sort of moves us away from a commodity and more of a valued service. And I think that feature alone is going to be game changer for detailers. Well, guys, the GT4 is all done and it looks amazing. One of my favorite Porsches ever. If you have any questions about any of the products that you saw today on the episode, I'm going to put all the links in the description. You can go check them out. I think they're going to be helpful as we move forward uh, amidst all of this uh, pandemic that we have going on right now. They could potentially help us when this is over because I do believe uh, this too shall pass. As my mother says, once we get back into business, I think these tools are actually going to help us sort of make up for lost time. But check them out. Uh, they're pretty cool. There are also a lot of small businesses there, so obviously uh, help them out as much as possible. On a side note or a personal note, I should say, a big thank you to Speed Sport Tuning. I think everybody around, uh, certainly uh, the New York, uh, uh, Connecticut area is, is struggling here as a small business and uh, the fact that we could work something out and the, they're dropping cars off is keeping me running here even though it's actually snowing and it's freezing and it's after um, Easter it's kind of crazy and they're staying in business so uh, let's try to help everybody out and do the best that we can anyways uh, thanks for watching I hope you found this helpful and here's to a brighter 2020